my main passion or area of passion in this world is to actually provide face-to-face -face support for those people in suicidal crisis. So we are on the brink of setting up James's Place, a non-clinical centre for those who are in emotional crisis to come to and get the face-to-face -face support that they need and in a timely fashion so that they do not descend into the abyss that happened to James. We want to save lives. Suicide isn't one of the biggest killers. It's the biggest killer of young men and teenage girls worldwide. So it's a huge public health issue. I think men need to talk more. I need to seek support and help and not think it's a weakness. It's not a weakness. It's actually a strength. With regards to teenage girls, I think the internet, social media has a huge, huge part to play in this. I think we need to teach young people about reality <laughs> and that the virtual world that they live in so often is, is, uh, is not real. I think there needs to be a parity between physical health and mental health. I think mental health still is treated as this underdog in the uh, health service. This is despite the fact that figures tell us that one in four people will suffer from a mental health problem during their lifetime. So as soon as people start to take that on board and accept it and remove the stigma surrounding mental health, I think we're going to make great headway. If somebody came to me saying they felt suicidal, I would just want to reassure them that everything passes, all, cri all crises pass and we can get through them. And I would want to reassure them that they are loved, hugely loved, and that the people who love them would never be able to contemplate life without them.